That said, for the market summary for the beginning of April, March fulfilled er and even exceeded most sellers' hopes with strong sales across the vast majority of price ranges and geographic areas. The major improvement in demand that we first saw in February has spread to more areas and has moved strongly upward mark up market too. I know I was just in a bidding war yesterday over a house we won it, but a whole bunch of one day on the market that they had been bombarded with people. And that's the market I think we're all feeling and seeing. We've heard it was coming. Last year was so much slower. Um, but listen to this, active listings just down 15.7% from this time last year. Pending listings are up 17.1%, under contract listings up 11%, and this is just from this time last year, from last month up 14%. So all of our inventory is coming under contract, and I think we all see it and feel it. Now this is the one that is crazy, monthly sales up 35.2% in one month. Since last month, we have seen an increase in 35%. The monthly median sales price, 2.6% increase in one month. And there is very little to dislike in the batch of numbers. If you are a seller, however, buyers are facing the prospect of prices increasing if these conditions prevail for a few more months. The rise in the under contract count over last year understates the magnitude of the improvement because the concurrent reduction in distressed listings keeps a lid on this measure. The same is true of sales improvement. Then he has like this whole range, three million and above, up 64% from this time last year. We know that the median sales price and average sales price per square foot are behaving differently, a sure sign of the change in the mix with the buoyant mid-range keeping the average price per square foot down but pushing the median price up. The price range is over 800,000 we're looking tired at the end of February. Just, but just look at them now, especially the ultra luxury segment. There were 29 homes over 3 million under contract as of April 1st, compared to only 16 all of last year. This is the most we have seen since 2007. You guys remember 2007? Yeah. Um, we are seeing the first signs of yeah, some extra supply quarter. coming along. So this is good news and it probably has a lot to do with this guy over here taking listings at nine a week. Um, as in the last week, the new rate of new listings has ticked up just a tad. It is quite natural for the news of a stronger market to bring out some more sellers. If this continues, it will help keep the market from getting too frenzied. This is certainly a lot more interesting and exciting than last year. 